Now, the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Mexico on Wednesday and in a bid to control the surging migration, Blinken held talks with the Mexican president. And as growing migration continues to cause chaos on their shared border, the high-level talks tabled as the 2024 presidential polls loom over the U.S. President Joe Biden's head. Wednesday's meeting was followed by a phone call between the two presidents over the need to address border security. And the trip comes as the Republican Party has called on President Joe Biden to crack down on the migration numbers. Now, the Republicans have made the demand a prerequisite to vote in favor of one of the key priorities of the Biden administration, which is to provide aid and support to Ukraine. Now, the meeting comes as a fresh wave of up to 15,000 migrants are set to hit base in the already brimming U.S.-Mexico border. And a caravan of about 8,000 asylum seekers, mostly from Cuba, Haiti, are on the move towards the borders. Separately, in the past week, over 10,000 people crossed over the borders every day. And post the meeting, Antony Blinken took to his account on social media platform X to reflect upon the key agreements at the meeting. Now, referring to the migrant crisis, the Secretary of State said that the two, that the two countries are quote-unquote committed to partner over shared challenges. Now, while the Mexican president has agreed to reduce the scores of people who cross over from Mexico, he pressed for understanding the root cause of migration and he's asked the U.S. to give financial aid to the lagging Latin American nations where people are forced to flee to look out for better opportunities. The president also spoke about the removal of restrictive U.S. sanctions from the governments of Cuba and Venezuela in order to help the countries prosper. Now, during his address, President Obrador also warned that the issue of migration can alter the U.S. politics. U.S. presidential poll runners like Donald Trump have formed campaigns over a severe crackdown on migrants if brought back to power. Now, the aim of containment at the borders comes as record numbers of migrants continue to cross into the U.S., both in 2022 and 2023, over 2 million people have been apprehended while trying to cross the southern borders. In 2022, scores of migrants risked their lives to cross the Darien Gap, a remote jungle, which is a region bridging Central and South America. Now, after border authorities cracked down on the usual routes, people resorted to the Gap, which is the world's most dangerous migration routes. And in the financial year 2023, over 2.4 million migrants crossed over the U.S.-Mexico border, which is the highest number of migrants that were from Mexico itself, followed by Venezuela, Guatemala. And separately, over 1,000 migrants died while taking the journey in 2023. Now, the reasons include sickness and lack of adequate health care, drowning lack of water, among others.